Okay, now for the specimen paper for the new P3, Pure Mathematics 3 International A level, um, for which up to now there have been no actual papers come out. And I've gone through uh, the sample assessment paper and I've gone through the specimen paper. Well, I'm about to go through the specimen paper and we're waiting for the first paper to come out this January. Okay, so this uh, is something that's new. It's mainly based on the old C3, except for a couple of things where they've added something in <coughs> logarithms. <coughs> and they've also taken some of the integration from C4, from the old C4, and uh, some of the basic integration and placed that in C3. Those are the two main uh, differences um, between this and the C3 paper um, of the past. Okay, now, let's get straight into it. First question is about transformations of graphs. Um, it says the point 7 minus 2 lies on the curve with the equation y equals f of x. There's no diagram here, but it tells us to state the coordinates of the image of P under the transformations represented first by y equals f of x plus 4 plus 1. So when we're dealing with this type of transformations, uh, we always start off with what's inside the function and what's inside the function always affects the x-coordinate, always affects the x-coordinate and what's outside the function always ex uh, affects the y-coordinate and what's inside the function always acts kind of like, you can say, the opposite. So x plus 4, this represents a horizontal translation of 4 units to the left and plus 1 represents a vertical um, translation of one unit upwards. This is a vertical. Okay, so basically we take the point P, 7 and minus 2, and its image is going to be, for the x value we take away 4, so you're going to get 3, and for the y value you add 1, so you're going to get minus 1. So that's the answer to part A. Simple as that. And part B, we have y equals f minus 2x plus 7. So again, what's inside the function affects the x-coordinate and acts kind of opposite. So it's actually two things going on here. It's a vertical stretch and it's also a reflection in, in the y-axis. Okay, It's the x-coordinates that change. And how do they change? Well, instead of multiplying the um, it's, it's a vertical, sorry, horizontal stretch, so you multiply the x-coordinates. Instead of multiplying by minus 2, you multiply by minus a half, the reciprocal of that. Okay, So you multiply by minus a half. So we take the x-coordinate of p and we multiply it by minus a half. So you multiply that by minus a half. That gives you minus 7 over 2 or minus 3.5. And here the y-coordinate, this is outside the function, you add 7 to the y-coordinate. So we're going to have minus 2 plus 7, minus 2 plus 7, which gives you 5. Okay, so there we have the image for part B. So this is answer to part A, and this is the answer to part B. And that's a pretty simple uh, first question for this specimen paper for the P3 of, yeah, P3, okay?